Hi there, my name is Paul Halliday and I'll be looking at Next.js today and that's a minimalistic server-side rendering framework for React applications. Let's start off by making a directory named hello next. We can change our command line path to hello next with cd hello next. Now if we initialize a default package.json with npm init dash y, we can go ahead and install our dependencies. So the dependencies for our project will be npm install next at beta and that will be version 3.0. We also need react and react dom. Let's add dash dash save to commit this to package.json. This is not required if you're using npm 5 and above and we can go ahead and hit enter. This will then install our dependencies and while it's doing that, we can talk a little bit about Next. So Next offers a really easy API for making new routes. To make a new route, we simply define a JavaScript file inside of a pages folder. We can consider a route to be a specific web URL. For example, if we had our homepage slash about, that would be the about route. If we wanted to do the same for contact, then our URL would be slash contact. Now in each one of these instances, all we have is a particular file, for example, named about or contact .js. There's no other functionality that we need to add to our JavaScript file. It's simply handled by next. So let's make a directory named pages and inside of pages, let's first off make a index route by saying touch index.js. And if we navigate back out and open this inside of our editor, we should first off be able to go to our package.json. And if we go to our package.json, we can define a new script named dev. And what this script dev then allows us to do is run our application in the browser. So prior to running this script, let's head to index.js and export a function that simply renders the words hello next. And it really is as simple as that. If we then run npm run dev inside of our terminal, you'll find out that it kicks off next and our build is available here on localhost 3000. And when we do navigate to localhost 3000, we can see that we have hello next here inside of the browser. So to get this up and running was super easy. If I change this to next is awesome, I didn't even need to refresh the page. It's automatically hot reloaded. So we find that in order to make any changes, it's super simple and it's also updated as soon as you make them changes. So let's take a look at how we can route between more than one page. For example, if we cd'd into the pages directory and we made a new file named about.js, we want to link the user from index.js to about.js. And remember in both of these occasions, they are routes inside of our app. So inside of index, what I want to do is actually import link from next slash link. Inside of our paragraph tag, we can say next is awesome. And perhaps we could also add an anchor tag, which says learn more. We can surround the anchor tag with a link. And inside of our link, we need to define the href. And the href in this scenario is simply about. So let's go and make some functionality inside of our about page. We can export a default, which simply says, hello about. If we now select next is awesome and click learn more, we now get hello about. And in this scenario, if we take a look at our URL bar, of course we do have that slash about. So getting up and running with server-side rendered React applications with next.js is super simple and you've seen just how easy it is to make new routes, to make changes, and of course to link people to those different routes.
If you'd like to see more Next.js content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know inside of the comment section below. If of course you'd like to learn about Ionic and NativeScript, don't forget to check out the description or paulhalliday.io. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in the next video.